Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a miner that is projected to break even after paying a little bit of a markup, after paying your residential electric bill in under six months. So in this bear market, hopefully things will be getting more bullish sooner than later. This miner is projected to break even in less than six months. So we talk about, you know, when people say ROI, never. This is ROI maybe. It's absolutely ROI maybe. Let's review the Bitmain Antminer B7 Tensority Miner, their latest release. This machine is the same size as the original Tensority ASIC Miner from Bitmain, the Antminer B3, which I'll talk about that whole debacle here in a second. But the new version is weighing in with 96 kilohash a second compared to one kilohash per second on the previous model, which is a 96x increase, obviously insane. This thing only uses 528 watts, you know, so you can put it on any outlet in your house if you wanted to do so. If you have a power supply that can run on 120 volt like the Bitmain APW3++ PSU or the like any ATX, uh, EVGA, PSU, whatever. So just to compare, we've got the B3, one kilohash a second, it used 380 watts. The Antminer B3 is not very profitable, and it hasn't been for a very long time because uh, miners came out for the Tensority mining algorithm for NVIDIA miners, and they went and dominated it, okay? So 1080 Ti's, and really most of the NVIDIA family were outperforming dollar for dollar, really by large margin. The Antminer B3 on their own algorithm, which I really didn't expect, they make an ASIC miner, for this algorithm that they basically created and then they get beat out, uh, that's a pretty poor play by Bitmain and Bitem and friends. So it was definitely interesting to see. However, if you compare the B3 to the B7, obviously an insane increase here, okay? So the NVIDIA GPUs are not going to be dominating on Tensority anymore. This is gonna be operating like a real ASIC miner with a very big increase in efficiency over the NVIDIA miners. I already talked about it in the intro, but six months to break even after you pay your electric bill, roughly. Okay, so this thing is making, if you pay 11 cents per kilowatt hour, so you know, standard-ish US electric rate, which is more than double the average mining farm, just for your reference. So they're obviously breaking even prior to that. But you've got this, and you're paying 300 bucks a month, or you're earning $300 a month, you're paying about 42 bucks a month in electric. After six months, you're gonna clear $1,800. If you can buy this direct from Bitmain, if this will load for me, you'll see the B7 selling for 9,900 yen on the Chinese site. It's still not available on the US site. So sorry, you know, if you're like me and live in the US, you can't get these. If you wanna know how that translates out in US dollars, that's about $1,500. You may recognize Coin Mining Central. I've recently talked about them here on the channel. And again, order everything at your own risk. But Gavin was the one who was able to get me the Antminer B7, okay? So this review would not be possible without him. And he is selling it for the price of 1,499.99 pounds. If you translate pounds to US dollars, you're gonna be pushing about $2,000. So, you know, we would just say it's a $500 markup, which really is not unreasonable given the market conditions, given the availability, given the fact that you can't even order it off of their US site. And this also does include a power supply, which if you go to the original listing, you'll see that this is for the miner only. So you'd have to tack on you know, another hundred bucks or so for that. Before I jump into the real world earnings and profitability, let's talk about the noise of this miner and how you could basically put it anywhere in your house. So I've got my super accurate, really advanced iPhone XR decibel audio meter right behind me, right? Decibel audio meter, nice one, boss. It sound like, you really sound like you know what you're talking about. But so we've got the decibel meter right here and it's pretty close to the machine. What you may notice is the B7 is actually quieter than some GPU mining rigs, absolutely quieter than some GPU mining rigs, which is pretty cool. Most of the noise you're actually hearing is actually the APW3++ Bitmain power supply. The, honestly, it's like 80% of the noise. This thing is a whisper quiet for a ASIC miner, which is pretty cool. The reason being is it's just not a very intense algorithm. This is actually an ASIC miner that you could put in your spare bedroom in your house, that you could put in your basement, not hear it upstairs in your kitchen or living room or whatever. You could put it anywhere in your house besides, I wouldn't really put it in your bedroom, 
but pretty much anywhere else. And the B7 doesn't really make much heat either. It doesn't use that much power, so it doesn't have too much heat to dissipate. If I were to compare it to anything, it's probably like the heat of like one or two graphics cards. It's pretty cool. While we're in here, you may notice that the B7 only needs one PCI connection on each hash board. So three on the boards and then one for the controller. So four PCI connections, which makes it very easy to power this with a uh, ATX power supply like an EVGA a 750 watt platinum, for example. And that would also be rated at proper usage for it. You know, if you have one laying around from GPU work or something, or you can obviously use whatever else that you want to use. You want to talk profitability? Here it is. F2 pool, not sponsored by them or anything like that. I do have a referral code to Coin Mining Central if you want to grab the miner off there and use the code to support the channel. But I swear I'm not making this video to make 3% on a miner sale. It's just not my style. But back to the video because I need disclaimers because everybody always thinks I'm constantly shilling and selling out. And I'm really just trying to bring you guys the news and facts here, my unbiased opinion. So over the last 24 hours, I've uh, accumulated about 125 Fidem. This miner only mines Bitem. So please understand it is absolutely risky in that regard. A miner that only mines one coin is naturally risky. That coin goes belly up, so does your hardware. F2 pool is a 3% PPS pool. Okay, so 3% from a pool is a little high, but you know, here we are. It's one of the best options for mining Bitem because they have the largest hash rate and blah, blah, blah. Who really cares about distribution? on a Chinese coin with Chinese miners and all Chinese pools. There's nothing distributed about this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't really care what some people may or may have to think about that. At the end of the day, if you get the Bidom miner, the B7, it's probably a money play anyway. To be honest, you don't need to lie to yourself. If you're, if you're looking to make money with mining, that's fine, seriously. But if you're looking to decentralize the network, maybe support a coin with a little more history and merit. I'm over here on CoinGecko and I really like their site because they make it so simple to quickly convert coin to USD, coin to BTC conversions and everything like that. So I've got 125 Bitem, you know, I punch it in here and you can change this number, it instantly changes, but I got 125 Bitem and I get an instant readout Easy calculation, that's estimated to be off the current price of Bitem, which tells me right here, and what it's trading at on the um, Satoshi Bitcoin value, 13 bucks, okay? Doesn't obviously include the electric bill, but at 500 watts, it's not gonna be something that breaks the bank. That's really good earnings uh, in this market. It's gonna be one of the most profitable miners out. Will profitability remain this high? Well, it depends on two things. Is Bitem, you know, which is a top 100 cryptocurrency, almost top 50, and you may remember I did a review on them last year. I was hopeful. I've been a little disappointed with uh, really the progress they've made over the last year, but really the progress with most projects in cryptocurrency has been disappointing as this bear market hit. But the good news is you see a lot of things go belly up and you see some scams finally revealed as scams. BitConnect, anyone? So if I click this to one year, just get that zoomed in a little bit more. Actually, we'll go three months. You can see over the last three months, the uh, coin has been steadily rising some. So that's good to see. If this coin goes up in value, it's only going to make these miners more and more profitable. And again, the inverse is absolutely this, the same and uh, will correlate the same as well. Pretty you know, simple stuff as far as the mining and profitability goes. This miner right now makes money, but if they dump a ton of them on the market, which is always possible, especially with Bitmain and really any ASIC company we've got right now, uh, that could quickly change. If you log into the miner, it looks just like everything else. Bad news is there's no overclock function. You cannot adjust the frequency. That is locked. Will someone release something to make that possible? Will Bitmain update it so that you can mess with the frequency later? Very possible. I think these things are going to be definitely underclocked, okay? Because if you look at how cool this is running, so this is running in a residential basement right now, and these chips are running, you know, between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. I talked about this earlier, and my point remains the same, is this thing runs real quiet and real cool, which would make you think that you could probably overclock it some. I think that this hash rate could be pretty largely increased because while this miner is advertised at 96 kilohash a second, it has averaged over 100,000, so over 100 kilohash a second over the last 24 hours. So pretty safe to 
reached the conclusion this is a 100 kilohash per second miner, not 96, which will in turn bump that profitability up a little bit. And when all these miners hit, it's gonna be doing a little bit more of an impact than some others may have expected. <laughs> oh man, this lighting is not too good. It's got me glowing and not in a good way. Not radiant, just like radioactive. Bosk, why are you so bright? But let's go ahead and, and wrap this review up of the Ant Miner B7 from Bitmain. Okay, so this is their latest ASIC miner to hit the streets. They, I mean, you could argue and be like, well, actually, boss, the, the Z11, the new Equihash ASIC miner is their latest release. Not true. I mean, it is true, but you know, I haven't seen any of those out in the wild yet. While this is now out here in the wild. So, anyway, before I start rambling, we've got a miner that is overperforming. It's rated at 96 kilohash a second, and it's pushing on average over 100 kilohash a second. It's only using about 550 watts, so you can put it anywhere in your house because not only does it not consume a lot of power, but it also does not make a lot of noise or produce a lot of heat. This is actually a rare exception where an ASIC miner actually kind of makes sense for residential use. It was actually kind of built being pretty decent for residential use. Uh, so that's very cool to see um, just from a guy who's trying to mine out of his house. Would I recommend the Ant Miner B7? Well, I wanted to recommend the B3 because I thought that, well, they made an ASIC miner just for their algorithm. Obviously, it's going to be safe. They're going to be at the front of that. So it's going to take a while for anyone else to see that and then make their own tensority ASIC miner. But I turned around and saw that NVIDIA cards happened to start dominating the algorithm and quickly caused the B3 to earn less and less and less. However, I will confidently say that I think you'll be hard pressed to see graphics cards outperforming the B7. It seems a world ahead, well 96 times ahead, of its predecessor, which is a very, very large leap. So what I recommend it, you know, we're in a bear market, prices aren't that great, and we've got a miner that's supposed to break even in basically six months or less after you pay your residential electric bill, depending what your residential electric bill is. Um, you know, I would say that this is a decent bet. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna go and turn around and build out a farm of these just because one coin and the history of here is risky. However, this is a miner making good money, even in a tough bear market, it's a world ahead of its predecessor, 96 times again, just, just let that number just permeate. Or should I say marinate? I mean, if it's marinating, it is permeating. You know what I mean. So anyway, maybe grab a couple if you want. Uh, you know, if you're getting the itch to get a new miner, maybe if you think you like buy them, maybe if you want to take a gamble, maybe you haven't gotten something recently and just kind of feeling it, maybe you think the market's going to turn around soon. Again, I just want to make the point that I try to bring you guys the information, the facts, the real world usage. You know, if you go online, this miner did 96 kilohash a second. You saw this review, now you know that it does 100 kilohash a second. Maybe those four kilohash will make the difference for you. I don't know. But that's just what I'm trying to do. Try to provide you guys some value, something worth watching. And uh, you know, whatever you choose to do after that, it's fine with me. You hate ASIC miners, you don't wanna buy them? Cool, man. I hate ASICs too. You think this might be a good play and you can make a couple bucks and you're kind of getting the itch to have something to tinker with? Go ahead, grab it. I think that's fun. I think, you know, make mining fun again, right? So anyway, guys, I wanna thank y'all for watching. Please hit the thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And I will see you all next time. I just want to be with you, yeah, I just want to be with you, oh, I just want to dance all night, forget my problems, I might go insane, I don't really give a damn what they say, and now you know, now you know it, I feel like you're lying, trying to be real, but you seem so fake, I'm so over trying, trying to move on, but you're in my